Yo, yeah, oh, welcome back, guys. Hey, guys, how's it going? So we got a kind of an exciting matchup. In yeah, we front got. Of us. We have actually had some talented players. Yeah, I'm actually super excited. Oh, oh, yeah, sure, sure. So we we got Camlin going up against Stan. So what do we have? We have a um, we, we have like the mirror with a different ban, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. So both have Druid Shaman Warlock and Warrior, but Stan banned. The warrior, the warrior, and Camlin banned the shaman. Mm, yeah. So just like, may, there's pro, like there's different warlock decks and there's different warrior decks, obviously. Yeah. And there's one true shaman deck, but. So I guess like Camlin was kind of threatened of the shaman, but yeah. Yeah. So that probably means that's more likely to mean Reno than Zoo, I guess. Yeah. And that's actually just like a, a respect ban. So yeah, I so think so. As well. Yeah, it's just like I don't so want to. I don't want to get memed by Shaman today. Yeah, yeah. Shaman is actually like just got a good Tusker or something. And like yeah, turn, turn three, one hundred percent win rate, right? Mm -hmm. So always um, what I'm going. We saw Stan play earlier, right? Mm -hmm. He's he's got your um Conceit Shaman. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wait, wait. The Conceit Shaman got banned. No, I'm not using it. I'm not using. It. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, so Conceit Shaman got banned. Mm -hmm. So it's questionable, maybe. I, I'm going to go ahead and say that's just downright stupid. So, yeah, go, yeah, go, go. go ahead, guys. Yeah, sure, go. Let's play some Hearthstone. Yeah, that's just downright just stupid. <laughs> Dude, maybe. <laughs> that deck's not good. <laughs> maybe he's just like. <laughs> I don't want to die from 30 to get the Valigos. Let's stream. So we have Stan's Katundrit. Yeah, and. Um, Agro Shaman. Hmm. So usually I like I don't I know, know about I don't know about this matchup, but against like Token Druid, I'd rather be the Agro Shaman by a slight margin. The problem is like the seven sevens, right? Like yeah, yeah. just beat you really hard. But Ender Raid's a good card though. <laughs> it's probably the best card yeah. in the game. Yeah, sometimes like like Shaman excels when they roll the totem golem off the Tuscar and then play a seven seven, right? Would you keep like the one drop as a shaman? Like I feel like as a shaman you really want to have the creatures early and then I don't mind keeping abuse surgeon. Yeah. Uh, you just go for Droid coining hero power is like pretty bad. So you just go for the truck. Uh, you could go for the nuts, yeah. Like normally it goes like this as a shaman, you early pressure with the minions and then you yeah. get the burst and just Finish them off. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely not keeping Lightning Bolt and Rockbiter. Mm -hmm. Those cards aren't good in your opening hand. Yeah, hmm. yeah both really taking long with the Mulligan. That's very interesting. Like, I mean, it's like elimination. It's like not clear cut either. Wow. So he kept the I like what Stan did here. It's really good. Just keeping the Inuit Nourish. And then drew a curve. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. What's this beeping sound? I don't know. It's oh, thank matter. God, it stopped. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This blue <laughs> 10 is actually... <laughs> All right, double under rate Nourish, Wild Griff, go. So you ramp yourself into turn four. Yeah, with the coins, you can yeah. hit a five drop. It's pro probably bad. I, I don't know, like, you want to maybe have the creature... Like, there's also the, the, I mean, the problem is if you ramp that hard, like, might you run out of resources? But he's just like, yeah, fuck it. No, this, this is good. <laughs> I mean, you get the two mana crystals every turn, so in two turns you're even. And, um, whoa. Oh, you're going cards? No, no, no. This whoa. Yeah. Whoa, this is actually. St Stan's just like, I I'm a top deck here. Like, it's so ridiculous that. That's pretty yellow. He's just on no turn two, and the druid is already at turn five next turn with two coins, so it's so ridiculous. Yeah. And you, and you can go to six. So like you're behind this, you're just like, yeah, you have a six drop. Like you're gonna play a five seven next turn. And, yeah. can, and right now, Camelon's just like, please don't have it. <laughs> yeah. Please don't have it. Yeah, it's kind of problematic. I Man, if Stan gets like a nourish here, it's gonna be rampage. But yeah, the see. second nourish off the top. Yeah, that'd be a riot. So so as Camelon, I think you flame tongue and get him. It's debatable, right? Like, the Trog might be good as well because yeah, like you can't just hero power it you can, off. you can play the Trog next turn and then play another Flame Tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Start really getting him with this abuse there. <laughs> There's, like, the Druid the Claw concern that charges in your Flame Tongue, but you have the other Flame Tongue. Yeah. Get him. Giddy up. 
Oh, man. Oh, oh that's gonna hurt a little. I think you play both your cards. <laughs> you just have zero cards at turn three. <laughs> like it's kind this, of is, this is how you drew it. And then you hit your six drop behind this. That's crazy. I mean, now you're just gonna draw a curve and you're fine. Like, the good thing is, like, you will not draw any inner weights anymore, which is good for you. Yeah, besides Wagra, if you don't have any more dead guards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rest of your deck are all, like, useful things. He hangs on to the disciple. So it's actually just the last wild growth. I mean, he also runs, like, double living roots, so I guess. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't a great top decks at this point. Finlay is kind of interesting here. Like, maybe you want an other hero power. Mm -hmm. What hero power do you want? I think you want Taunt Totem here. Yeah, Tauntum is pretty good, so you can just place the flame tank behind it and get oh, some extra damage. Uh, realistically, all your plays like just absolutely just blow here, but my stun is really just in top deck mode here. Hmm? Yeah, right. and Gamelin's ends just like less than exciting as well. That's <laughs> yeah, right there. He was supposed to get Taunt Totem. <laughs> you're taking as, as, you're, as a you're, good as a good player. You're taking say. notes here, JJ. <laughs> and a uh, hunter. I, this is actually not that good for Stan. Yeah, it's good enough. It's decent. Um, so Kamala is just smorking, but um, oh, it's not good because his damage is just getting removed too fast. Like I don't think Kamala will have to reach at the end of the day here. Uh, well, Kamala needs Stan to draw dead. Yes. Yeah. Doom, yeah. Doom Hammer in like low card situations is just like a, such a high value card. Not just like face damage, like just for controlling the board. Yeah, I feel so as well. I mean, board control is not... Board control is really important for Shaman. Yeah, but it's just not going to happen here anymore. Like, uh, Yeah, it's going to be really hard. Yeah. It all starts with a 7-7. Seven, seven. If, if Stan gets the Katoon here, this game is going to be fast. All right, more one drops for Kamlin. That's, uh, that's some garbage. So what do you do if this... Do you just drop both and just hero power? Yeah, and kill the two one, right? Yeah. And feel bad. But these gnomes, actually, man. Actually, you just go face. Yeah, you just go face. <laughs> <laughs> What's the two one doing? <laughs> okay, it has and to be like Stan one of the hits him. Stan misses. So, I mean, the thing is, like the elders are clearing this board so efficiently. Yeah, he can just full board clear. Yeah. So I do like Hamlin going face. That's just like a <laughs> kind of a lack of respect <laughs> kind of trade. I like it. I mean, you mean yeah? I mean, face shaman. That's just like. Dude, I'm playing Fae Shaman. I'm gonna get you for one. I just want to see him top decking dub double rock biter here and just yeah, double rock biter. That's the that's that's how you win this game. I mean, he's playing to his out, so I guess it's fine. Actually, if he hits like, so say Stan doesn't clear this, right? Yeah. He if uh, Camlin hits like Horse Rider, he clears both the three threes, mm -hmm. and Stan draws another dead card. Yeah, I think he just pretty much relies on Stan not drawing taunts. Yeah, yeah. Also, that's cheating. He has the twin emperor. Like, if he gets like twin emperor or the dark aura core here, or even Katoon, he just drill the claw. Yeah. Will you trade it to one here? Stan's just like he hit me in the face with that. He must have a plan. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, like Doomhammer, Rock Biter, or something. So what do we get here? Seven, seven for four mana. Is it even good enough? Uh, the Doomhammer doesn't do anything, right? Yeah. So you play the seven, seven. When you hope Stan kind of have actually has to kill it. Yeah, I mean, if Kamlan kept track, he knows that the card in Stan's hand is the coin. Yeah, it's not. I, I I feel like that's pretty easy to figure out. So what do we have? Like Stan has only the second living roots is really bad, right? Does he play the two three? Yeah, I think so as well. Yeah, that one's not so good. Four two is not so good. Yeah, so the rest of the deck's really good though. So I think it's Rav about swipes are fine. It's about thirty percent to get a dead draw here. Uh, I think it's like way lower than that. But there we go. That's a really good one. Yeah. I guess Brain was probably dead if he plays that. That is cheating. Do you play that? Or do you <laughs> trade? I mean, do you trade? You play that, yeah. Yeah. But do you do trade though? I think you have to trade. Like, uh, like he doesn't yeah. have Doom Hammer mana. I mean, the thing is, like, if you don't trade, like, you are asking yourself, can you actually race him? And I don't think that's the answer with the hero power. Like, the hunter hero power just gets you too fast. Yeah. I guess you lose a lot of your health pool if you do trade. It's a pretty good uh, Camelon curving out. Oh. Do you go for Do you go for Drake? 
You can hit Raph or Swipe, which are just like explodes. Yeah. I think I like it. It's pretty like you pick up a decent follow up. Nope. <laughs> but even if <laughs> it's, you. It's alright. Even right. if you don't, like you're pretty high on health and you can just yeah. follow up with the Aracor the next turn, like you shouldn't be too as afraid here. This so is I think it's okay. This is insane. This, this, is, this would end up being like a turn 7, 15, 15 Cthoon. He yeah. draws it. Oh. That's actually a pretty good draw. Mm, is it so? You can just only want to I, th I, th I think you're going fish for sure here, but. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, you might, you might do member first. So, <laughs> where to root to take you? Like, even you just go face. <laughs> if, the I if, if I'm if I'm sitting there being gambling, it's just like he played an Azure Drake. He yeah. probably doesn't have something to have done. Like, yeah. Um, no, it's reasonable, sure. Yeah. But, um, and it's also in your mind, it's just like I can't beat minion with taunt. So let's let's. Play to our outs. So you just concede to Taunt Minus, like he has free in his deck, yeah, so yeah, you just like, say... You, I, I'm expecting Camel to just yeah, sure, snap sure. concede as soon as like the Taunt comes out. Hmm. Just flip you would, the, you flip would bet the, on that? Flip the desk, accuse him of cheating, yeah. and uh, move on with your deck. Oh man, <laughs> kind of funny. I think you want to start getting the Doom Hammer charges in, right? Let's see. I like and it, it, I like it. And when you like... Argent Horse Rider Flame Tongue. It, it feels really stupid when you don't kill the Azurek, which is actually wrong, right? The part I kind of like about this play is just like he's just playing to its out. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think that's like about the best you can do here. Yeah, so yeah. I like it. Five seven taunt, pretty yeah. good. The ancient one cheats. Yeah, and Camelot's like, yeah, and he's like, he? wood face. You had that, man. You had that. Yeah, but it, I mean, from Stan's perspective, it actually made sense. So yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, I think you like. I guess you ferals and put the flame tongue in them. I mean, we've got one problem now. You can't go face anymore. That's that's not like just a small problem. That's like the end of the world problem. Yeah, this is good. And if the flames in like six round, you can horse rider into the five three after yeah, that sure. trade happens. Unfortunately, Stan has the one card. Yeah, it's just really hard to draw dead when you don't have any innervates in your deck, right? Yeah, it's true. It's true. He already had some bad draws, so. Yeah, he drew it. He drew the two, one three. of the living roots, the two three. Like Stan's like bottom draw is like the four two divine shield. That's just like so hard. It's just gonna smack this. <laughs> I mean, why not? You gotta kill it eventually. Oh, the good thing is, like, White Grove is not really a dead draw here anymore. No, it's just draw card, because you're up three man on him. You've been three, up three man on your opponent all game. Oy. But it's not... Nah, you never... There's no way you do it. Nah, nah, nah. I mean, as much we all love Ragnaros, the Fire Lord. That's not bad. Killing a Flame Tongue totem. Yeah, but... He has to kill a totem. Playing super safe, even shipping the minion in to preserve himself for elf. I mean, you don't lose here to anything at the moment, so you might not just make uh, yourself lose to any top decks. Uh, Elemental Destruction Origin Square. <laughs> Into Rockbiter, Rockbiter. Yeah, yeah it, was, it, was, it was done. Druid is doing pretty well today, hmm? So. Looking back at that opening from the Druid, right? We were both very hesitant to do the double innervate, nourish, wild growth play. Yeah. And Stan actually drew bottom curve. Like, the worst he could have drawn, and it worked out. So I actually think that play is really good. I think so, because also the matchup is, like, I think a bit favored for a Shaman, so he might just risk it, so... Yeah. Like, it's like if, he, if he drew... He couldn't draw, he couldn't draw worse. Oh, I'm looking at Stan's hand again, and I see this one card, which is yeah. really good. He's good at Druid. He practices it definitely. How do you practice Druid? Mulligan. Get in a way. <laughs> <laughs> Tips from the pros. <laughs> <laughs> kind of funny. Unfortunately, Cthulhu Chosen is actually not a Shredder. So, oh. uh, mm -hmm. It can be, but it's just not. It, it, wants, it, really, it, it wants to be. You know? it, can't, it can't spawn Doomsayer, so it's the only downside, I guess. Yeah, actually, it's kind of a buff in some ways. But yeah. Um, as the Sulok, do you keep anything? Ah, uh, no, you have like Flamen. 
double flame imp. Yep, you do have two flame imps in your deck. That's true. That'd be a good. It's he like keeps the peddler, which is like. Ooh, okay. But he got he got a flame imp. He got a flame imp on Tid Stan got double yeah. in a way again. <laughs> That's actually crazy. Oh hey, turn two five seven. <laughs> it's it's actually a pretty bad play, but like against flame imp anyways. Yeah, because he can PO. Yeah, yeah. But you just say hey. You do it anyway. I'm having a really good day. Like, okay, that's probably better, right? I disagree. Because you can go the five seven into the two three into the, the four ten, yeah. right? That's or you go the two three into the five seven into the four ten. But it just makes more sense to play the yeah. big guy first, right? And if he doesn't have PO, you just win. You just win. And that's actually not a card you should be keeping in your opening hand. It's true. So let's see. Especially with Flamin. Like maybe you keep. I don't like this, but it's still pretty good. I mean, he is playing around PO. Like, I can't really judge him for that because if he has to PO, I can. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> You're still ahead if he has the PO. He needs PO yeah. one drop. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I guess. Well, there we go. Right. Um, Let's pretend that was Dr. Boom, right? You had a double in raid Dr. Boom. Oh, no, that's 7 mana. That was good stuff yeah. early in this. Yeah. Double in raid Dr. Boom. How, much, how often do we lose? I think like 5% of the games after you did that. If uh, even. Nah. Lo less. <laughs> less. Less. The question is, do you double innovate it now? And I think... Yeah, but now you just feel stupid. Yeah, now you miss the mana, but you have to do it now. But the, uh, the one thing is, like, it's not as vulnerable to PO anymore, so... You floated a mana and you feel stupid. <sighs> it... Hmm. Nah, you're still pretty happy. You have a 410 on turn 4 behind all of this. <laughs> the problem is, like, for the Zoo, he can't really deal with that 410. It's a really big problem. Uh, Oh, you have the shifter shares Oh, you card. take that shifter for sure. Yeah. Oh, your dreams come true. What do you want to have from the shifter, like a death wing? But it, mm. The plus one, plus one, guys, like the safe pick. It's boring. It's really boring. It's actually oh, a reliable <laughs> card. Um. Yeah, I mean, a 410 for four mana. Would you play it? You play that? Yeah, it's like, I'd play that in all my decks. So good. Uh, Stan making this uncomfortable face. He's just wondering if he should dome his opponent, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> the swipe's like... The swipe's not good, right? What? Hmm. It's fine. <laughs> so you leave a 1-1 one, one up, right? Yeah. And, mean, then, and then you get po No, no, you can't just clear the board of the swipe. You just no. kill the gang boss and kill the ass. Oh, swipe yeah, 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 yeah. Then you have a 5-5 five, five against nothing. So, it's... Uh, five, five, like, you actually... Hmm. You played a 4-10 on turn 4. Well, being the thing is, like, I think Stan, from this pers uh, perspective, he just never loses board again with the 4 -ten. Like, he can just swipe every time he wants, and he doesn't lose against stuff like Tentacles. Yeah. So that's pretty interesting. I think I think you win either way, but... Mm -hmm. yeah, for some reason, I thought you had to swipe the M King boss, but... Yeah, this is way better. That would have been way better to swipe the other guy. <laughs> Just strictly better. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, yeah. Do, do, do you make the I hope you don't have swipe play? The question as a Sulok here is more like how desperate am I? And I yeah. think you're pretty desperate. Like Yargus is never good enough. Like Stan is just ahead on stats by a lot. Yeah, there's 15 health for a million there. Like, you, you kind of want to be going wide against this, right? Because they can't... Like, he, with only two minions, you can only t kill two yeah. creatures a turn, so... So it's probably... The, yeah, you trade that first. It's probably the best Kamlan can do here, but he's fighting from behind. That's a 3-4 now. Oh, it's like unbuffed again. <laughs> uh, like, unnerved. And that's like the perfect draw stand to get? Yeah, I think so. Kamlan is you, just you like... Must, you must be, not, you must be right about this. Stan must practice this like a lot. The double innovate in the beginning. Yeah. We He's drawn four out. innovates within six cards of his opening hands. As, as his practice partner, you must not have fun. Like, you must lose a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you just played on letter and frustrate <laughs> other people. 
Um, yeah, Zulog. Isn't it like a... Shouldn't it be like a board controlish deck? Yeah, you should be a head on board at this point in the game. Usually. Ah, okay, but... I was wondering if you were actually, if uh, Doom guarding your opponent in the face was actually a good play there, but... That swipe is gonna hurt a lot. I I <laughs> he's just like looking and he's just like, does he have it? It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> I, I think he's actually gonna lose the game after this. Oh, it's funny. Yeah. Yeah. He's just staring at us and he's like, yeah. What do I do, guys? He's drawn so many other mates. <laughs> <laughs> He gets, that's like, hmm. he gets a chuckle out of it, but really he's dying inside. Yeah, it's kind of funny. The funny part is like Stan slow roads it so hard. <laughs> it's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> it's so funny. And <laughs> San Francisco taking notes like a real professional. Oh, he just really roped it almost. <laughs> 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 Come on, it's just like what I, I know like Stan's just like doing what he always does, right? <laughs> yeah, it's but true. at some point it should just be considered BM. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's just like hmm. <laughs> I mean he just considers it and it's like, yeah, is it uh, you could have went RAF one, RAF yeah. one hero power. Trade like trade. It's actually you do these plays too fast because they look very juicy. But they're actually like But that was that one was really juicy. Yeah, it was really good. Alright, so um, not the best draw for Stan. Hmm. So you can like grab for one twice on the right, and hit the four seven in to yeah, the two really four and then cards here, huh? yeah, you just want like one just of your get the any swipe. any of your big boys will just win you the game here, right? Uh, that's fine. You get to play two one ones and still do the like yeah. the same play. It's actually just better, right? Yeah, two one one. Yeah, I like it. No savage were in this deck, but so where is the last glimmer of hope? Yeah, going away. I mean, with uh, with Stan, probably. I don't know if he'll play it, but maybe, maybe he activates like the giant or something. He nah, will, it's, it's like, like not Stan even close. is the kind of guy who actually plays around that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's like even if it's five mana, it's like not good enough. That's true. And uh, Kamran is just like hmm. feels bad, man. And the thing with holding it back is you have lethal anyways. Like, it is pretty hard to compete with this druid draw. Yeah, let's see if he can do it a third time. I mean, at least he doesn't really lethal. I'm, I'm just calling hacks if, uh... I'm just calling hacks if, uh, he has a, a third game where he draws 200 risks. That's just, that's just so not Kaman realistic. So has left his own druid. Yep. And, I'm um, actually Let the inner bit war begin. I'm pretty curious if he has like the York Druid because I don't feel I mean, uh, probably the Sue is better against the Cartoon Druid, right? It depends. Like hmm. Yeah. Like Stan has a really like I don't um know. low curve. I feel like you're more comfortable playing Zoo against Druid than Druid against Druid. Yeah, but I can see that, sure. Mm, yeah. Alright, well I, see, I mean uh, both players pretty pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. I see two copies of Wild Drift. I don't think you want to maybe keep the living roots. All right, so if you're standing here, do you ever mull it all? Hmm. None of, you could you just search you, if, you, if, if you keep you could actually just keep this whole hand, right? right but you could pitch it all and draw two in roots again. Problem with this hand, you make yourself like you restrict your flexibility so hard because it's very it's very linear. Yeah, it's pretty linear, and yep. if your opponent does something like. Innovate Fendril or something like that, you're just like, yeah, you'll lose. You'll lose. Innovate Fendril into anything, and then you're just like, oh, this, my plan didn't work out. Yeah. But if it's just like a wild growth battle, it's a pretty good curve. Yeah, I agree. I don't know. It's close, for sure. Yeah. All right, I like that mole from Stan. Yeah, like, oh, it, that's it's, a, it's not a full mole, and it kind of stays on curve still, so. That's a really interesting card. Um, the mark? Yes, it's kind of oriented towards aggro matchups, where like Face Shaman and Sulok is there. Yeah, you go Kifun and Urbay Taunt it. Man, Stan, <laughs> Stan knows his business. Ah, the second wild growth is not that good here. Is it so? Is it not? Like, you can just That's coin Wine Grove into Wine Grove and be uh, two uh, mana ahead every turn. Well, it'll be one. Cause one, yeah, because the coin. You yeah. just make the coin into Double a... Double wild growth, really, so. 
There's, it's very seldom you actually want both, but. Hmm. Eh. I'd been happier to see an innervate or a five drop. Yeah, it's true. Do you like keeping the living roots in this matchup as Kamlan? Oh, off coin, I think it's fine. Yeah. I think they if you, deal if you enough have, damage. If you have coin, it's like just not enough. Yeah, but I that guess. that chip damage is significant. It's not just chip damage. It's also oh. it's also board oh, control. That's a good draw. Wow. Yeah, that's uh, like you do that over the white growth. Right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, pretty sure. Like it's also more likely it's to stick, and you also need to contest the board of the roots. The problem with wild growth is like. If you don't develop anything, then he just, like, Camelon just plays, like, empty board, four drop, either fight, Fandral, or Violet, yeah. and you can't deal with it. So, I agree, I agree. I think it's nice. And, well, Camelon's hand sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you formulated that pretty nice, but yeah. pretty true, yeah. So he it's, needs, it, he, it's unfortunate, we would say, right? He needs minion. <laughs> he needed a minion. Uh, so question here is if yeah, it's like, cycle the wrath and like wrath of three and you double your odds of hitting a five drop for yeah. next turn. Uh, but I like could never really want to have a reactive hand like that. Uh, against Zoo, he against Zoo that hand's really good. Yeah, that'll that'll help you get to that yog. Yeah, but against like Druid, which just like has yeah, yeah. big stuff. Hmm. Not good. Not good. Not good. Hmm. I don't know, I think swipe's fine. And then, like, you expect Stan to have, like, the 4 2 next turn, anyways. You're kind of taking the aggressive route here with the swipe. I think you have to go for it, right? You need to, like, even the saplings are. They're doing their job, kind of, so. Yeah, they've pushed 5 so far. 4. Mm, they're gonna push 6. Mm, that's a big eye. Yeah, so that's, like. It doesn't look like a good draw, right? Because it's, like, so far away. Yeah. But it's, like, always good to have in your hand. I do like this with Stan. Does he, like. You will not get any way of just uh, white growth. For the next turn, you can just do hero power again and remove the saplings. Yeah, and then you, pr you protect the bubble. Yeah. And yeah, it's just overall a pretty good play. Mm. Is that ever minion? The only spell you want to play is spell, right? Because yeah. the last cards. Are but look at your hand. Might be, might be minion. Well. Uh, well. The middle one, the right one, or the left one? Do you like nine mana, five, five minions? <laughs> it's kind of funny. Do you, do you like one ones for zero? Uh, oh, man. <laughs> this is kind of funny. <laughs> the Brute Von ends up. It's actually pretty good. It is. I, don't, I mean, it's not pretty good, but it's the best out of these cards for Kamlin, I guess. Like. Ah, it's got, like, synergy in his deck, right? I also like the German name for it. The brute, the brute von ends up. <laughs> brute von ends up. Brute von ends up. <laughs> kind of All right, well, in Germany. <laughs> he took Aviana, so the nine mana five. Five. Yeah, 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 it lets you play Aviana and Yog on the same turn. <laughs> For all that's worth. Um, do we ever swipe here? Like, I think you should probably play your dude. Yeah. I guess your only dude you have on curve for now. I guess it's your only dude, so holding it's not bad. Uh, the problem with like swiping is then you're going in turn six and your opponent could like, just have the Semper Forest hand card and then yes. you can't kill it anymore. So That would be a problem. I mean, you could eventually go into Swipe Living Roots and if he plays the Emperor, you still have the Mark of the Wild to clear it. But how do you kill it? Oh, he's, he's just going to kill your 4 2 with his dudes if he's playing the Emperor, right? No, no, I mean, if you could go like swipe, make two saplings, and then buff one of them, hero power, kill the uh, emperor. Oh, okay. That seems bad. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and you're, all, you're just full of good ideas today, JJ. I mean, I'm creative, right? Yeah. You're yeah. going there. All right, draw card. That's not bad. It's not good either. Yeah, then that means you probably have to wrap through three. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to do that. I mean, you're pretty much banking this match on an Ancient of War. Oh, wow. He's actually doing this. Oh. 
he's getting destroyed with a swipe. I guess he doesn't have the psycho wrath, right? Yeah, that's true. He it's, needs cards for sure. He's right? getting destroyed by this swipe, dude. It's a three two and a one one. <laughs> Not that good. Oh, stand so, up. You didn't have to get yeah, him as a nine nine. Yeah, it's so close to being good. Yeah, I think it's like you just play the Yeti here, uh, right? Yeah, and ping for two on the three two in here. But I like it. I like yeah. it. Joe and Yeti, good card. <laughs> it used to be like one of the best openers. <laughs> Coin, innovate, Yeti, and people oh, like. And now it's just like bad. It's crazy. Yeah. It's not. It's, it's a bit it's below not, average. It, it's not good. Yeah, it's not good. That's what I would say. Yeah. <laughs> it's not completely busted. Mm -hmm. Which is what Harsom has gone to. Who yeah. does the more, most busted thing as quickly as possible? Yeah. <laughs> I like this game. <laughs> busted stone. I think Stan's like counting like his odds for um, actually hitting activator, because like the four ten is actually like insane I mean, in the matchup. The thing is like you, you can't just not play anything. That's a problem, right? Yeah, but if if you hit activator and you you get the four ten down, like yeah. it's really good. It's really really good. Solid. Yeah. So definitely not uproot here, right? <sighs> We just taunt. Just chill. That Mark of the Wild is cashing in here, though. Yeah. yeah, Mark of the Wild swipe. Yeah. I think you're a little too excited. It's not actually that good. It's pretty cool, though. Sure. New cards. It's it's a it, Boulder Fist Ogre now. No, it's a 6 too. It's slightly better than an Ice Rager. I mean, this... this it's 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 okay. It's, it's okay. It's yeah, it's okay. pretty mediocre. Maybe I got it. Oh, oh, oh. The, the, this Fandral is like really good here. I mean, is it? It's not that insane. But if he gets like the power of the wild uh, now, we well, might get excited. Well, Stan's gonna like be very upset about the ten ten next turn when he doesn't kill this. Interesting. This game is going into a different route now. Dude, if Gamelin just hits the interview here. Don't you like it like a different route and both druids playing against each other? Uh, 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 that's good. I like the dome. So, Stan gets to make a forward turn here. The question is do you. No, you don't face Tangled right now. Yeah, at 4 turn is super important, but there's a 10 10 coming up. Yeah, 10 10 trades favorably. Oh man. I'm calling the interview draw for Gamelin here. It's gonna be insane. Oh, Aviana, Innovate. Mm. That's a sick turn. Yeah. We might even go Myra. No, Myra Keeper is not better. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Compost urine. It means mulch. Thanks, Jeff. How do, how do, how do you pronounce it in German? <laughs> You're asking me how no, you no, pronounce no, it's it like, in German. No. It's uh, compostieren. <laughs> All right. It's like compost. It's like. Um, um, how do you call Re it? Recycling organic yeah, yeah, material. Like compost. Yeah. Yes. Compost. Same word with a C. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, no, I don't know why by foreigners get so excited about a German language. It's kind of funny. So uh, Camlin, uh, Camlin goes face. That's interesting here. That's yeah. Wait, wait. He just doesn't you don't get like going face here. I don't know, two three there. So yeah. Oh. Can food might work. It might work, but it just gets mulched. That's a Wait, you don't know that? But, yeah. You still have to do it. Oh, that was perfect. Almost perfect. I mean, it killed the, the war, so yeah. Yeah. Mm. Do you actually suicide in? Why would you? Okay, the, I'm actually... Okay, wouldn't it be funny if he gets an other cartoon from this mulch? For one of the players, <laughs> I mean, it's a really I, funny I, joke. I really just want to see it once in a competitive play. Give him a Deathwing or not just yeah. Katoon, just Katoon again. You know? Anything above eight, Stan would be ecstatic to see. Man, never look. Oh, does he have a copy of Living Roots left? Cash it. Does that even work? Does that guy work with Living Roots? Uh, he should, right? Like it works with the standing against the darkness thingy. And Stan's dead. Well, not yet, but... Yeah. Man, that March was just not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> you expect seven or over? <laughs> just Deathwing would have actually just <laughs> ruined it for Kamlan, like ruining the day. <laughs> uh, Stan has Rag in his deck, right? 
Mm -hmm. You should probably be. You have to raff for one. Yeah, rag or something. Yeah, you have to draw. Like, you don't win with this hand ever. Um, that's not rag. Nope. You still play all your cards, though, right? Yeah. But the armor up doesn't matter. You still have to swipe either way. So. Yeah, I mean, maybe he got an extra turn, like, but Stan doesn't run York or something, right? Oh, he has twins. Holding. Uh, is it maybe, maybe like, brand, tw brand twins next turn is like. And your opponent just doesn't ever hit damage is like a way you come back. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I can't see that. That's actually a really good line. It's probably your only li a line where you actually yeah. could win this game. That's pretty good. And. Aviana. Is it, do you admire Keeper? Do you just go for Leifold? That's the first question, right? Oh, yeah. Mm. You've already used a swipe, right? Yeah, but still have like. Ah, you have one Living Roots left. Maybe he runs like Savage Raw. I don't know. 7, 10, 11. Living Roots isn't lethal. So Savage Roar, Mulch, and Swipe are like the three lethals. I didn't know what she said, but that's good. She says, my winged children fill the skies. Nice. Ah, oh, that's another thing. Uh, we missed like Drake into Raven Idol, right? Yeah. That's pretty good for the Vander on board, especially. Nope. Seed, I guess. But your 2 1 gets Divine Shield first. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Stan doesn't agree. <laughs> does not cash in the value. So what does Stan have left? He has the Warlock and the Warrior left. Yeah, uh, like, do you know what his decks are? Yeah, he has like the Worgen Warrior and the uh, Sulok. Stan's playing Zoo and not Reno. That's interesting. Mm. It's pretty good. Sue is pretty good deck. Yeah, it is. But Stan loves his Reno. Like when I, mean, I when I think Stan, I think Reno. It's always like lineup dependent, right? Like, is it? <laughs> sure. Just, I think like fundamentally, even if like a lineup is like better or worse on paper, you have to like be good at that, right? Yeah, it's true. Stan's probably a better Reno Lock player than a Zoo player from yeah, when true. I know about him. And you also have to play like things you enjoy playing, like Frost Shock and your Shaman. Because if you're not having fun, why are you playing Hearthstone, right? Yes. Did you have fun while you were playing Frost Shock today? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, um. Flame Imp, good card. Yes. I don't think Juggler's like so good. Yeah, I like Flame Imp, but I don't I might mind. just keep the Juggler to keep Pat on Pat playing on curve. Like, it gets beaten by a better curve. You'd rather have Peddler on two, but, or you'd rather have Triple One Drop. Like, I would say like this. Um, the Juggler is not the most impactful card against the Druid, so you might as well keep it here because you secure a curve, right? Yeah, and if it doesn't die, it just keeps pushing damage, right? Yep, I feel so. Reasonably, it, like, something to expect is, like, the Flame Imp gets Living Roots, right? I mean, if Juggler and then the would juggler be a free two. That would be a good card. Gosh. I, good thing they made it a 2 2 from the start. <laughs> there would be balance issues in Hearthstone. Oh, Kamlan's hand. Well, that's, that's juicy stuff. Yeah, and picks up being in the ref. That's like really nice. Uh, usually you always just ping here, right? Yeah. I mean. You could make the trees, but <laughs> then really if you hero power next turn, you end yeah. up with a one-one. But given you already have a turn two play, like, eh, um, I'd rather actually play the juggler. But peddler or juggler? The juggler has the merit of doing like two extra face damage next turn. Yeah, it does, and it forces your opponent to wreck to it. Well, Finlay, easy, right? Yeah, easy as Finlay. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Some people just do it when they just can't draw cards anymore, and the deck just like. Mm. Yeah, I had, I had someone do that against me while I was playing Freeze Mage. And you're just when, like when turn two, uh, turn two armor up after the coin uh, peddler. I mean, yeah, he ran out of cards by turn five. You, you, you <laughs> just win with armor up, come on, against Freeze Mage. Yeah, it took me a while to kill him, but you know. <laughs> yeah, like four. Yeah, like ten armor. It's just like you with ten armor. Yeah, it was pretty sad for him when he uh, had flame imps and he like knocked off his own armor. He's like, you worked so hard to get that armor. <laughs> Five turns, yeah. I mean, Kamlan has good removals now, but 
the follow like the I think he has no I, I, I think he might be thinking rap for pure power or rap for one to set up the coin swipe or something. Mm. Which makes a lot of sense because against potential in going boss on three. Gets punished pretty hard by I mean Stan has a really good hand now because he has just like a lot of options. Like he can either yeah. just say I wanna stabilize my board with getting it extra health with the Argus, or he says I go for extra one ones. Yeah. So yeah. The inner weight is in general a nice card. I would play the I'd play that number. It gives you four mana and puff. Then so you, you can basically then you can play a two mana five five. That sounds good. That is that, good. That seems like on shaman level busted. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Uh, there's also like merit saving innervate for potential violet teacher shenanigans. And there's also merit in clearing some of these minions because of possible defender Vargas. That's true. So this, this turn's actually like that is really very like complicated. That might be probably like the most impactful turn in this game. Yeah, this turn's like super complicated. Yeah. You you could actually full clear here. And I I'd say that's a pretty good play. Then again as Camelin you can you can already you can kinda see like there's almost no way he has three drop. Maybe he doesn't play in Gang Boss because Coin Swipe, but he definitely he does, definitely doesn't have Councilman. Because you yeah. you definitely would have played Councilman. Yeah, there. Councilman would be really good. Um, so does this get punished? That's the one question, right? Uh, you forbidden ritual. I think with two Argus's you Argus now, but uh, you Argus the the Flame Imp and the Juggler. If you miss the Juggle, the Peddler and the Flame Imp going. If you hit the Juggle, it's really good because then you just have to sack in the Flame Imp. I mean, don't you want to just buff up the yeah, juggler and flame up. That seems to make the most sense, man. Yeah, that seems fine. If you because hit, if, if you, you hit, if you hit the juggle, it's really good to put it on the peddler, though. It's true. It's true. So I mean, like, you can just gamba gamba. Well, let's gamba gamba. Let's gamble. Gamba gamba. Have you never watched Wreckful, man? <laughs> <laughs> Feels bad, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, Wreckful. Yeah, this is pretty hard. This, this game is really interesting because it's like so close. Yeah, there's like a lot of decisions. I think just because you have two defenders, right? Oh my god, he went for it. You know what? I like it. That was that, 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 that was makes a... you win so much more if you hit it. Yeah. Ah, not that much more, but. Oh, he was even considering going face here. That's ah. interesting. I, I think like a player like Firebat, I would put him on going face there. Yeah. But I would never say Stan would go face in that spot. Yeah, it's true. Um, that is not exactly what you're searching for here. Yeah, the Wild Grove top deck's completely dead. Uh, I think you kind of have to swipe here. It's not a good swipe, but... Yeah. I mean, the problem is like you really have no other options. Uh, yeah, you, you really don't. I, I guess you could Wild Grove. Like, Maybe get a better swipe next time. Like, how greedy can you get with that swipe? Like, the juggler has to go if the if, if the swipe's not good, you're going to lose. And so. the thing is, like, that second Argus is going to punish. It is, right? Punish. <laughs> 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 yeah. I, I mean, you can't really put your opponent on having second defender, though, right? Where's the swipe going? Into the Argus, right? Yeah. Ooh, reducing damage. I was thinking, like, we're probably hero power next turn. Okay. Oh, oh. Isn't that... Okay. I, I, I just saw swipe. Ritual lets you play Siege, right? The thing of the swipe is it was kind of a weak swipe, and if he has a second one, you just might lose on spot. Yeah, you could read that as, oh, that was a weak swipe, my opponent has a second one. Yes. You could also read it as, he roped to do that, he probably doesn't have a second one. Yeah, but maybe just rope because it's kind of important. The mind games. Yeah. You could also read it as my opponent's hand sucks. And Stan is just like, yeah, I got this. <laughs> I'm gonna get the CJ out next turn after you don't okay. swipe. Okay, I mean, he has. Uh, he has a try at. Yeah, five mana, so he gets one try at the swipe. Could It can't be Starfall. Yes. Yeah. Why do I not see this? Well, I don't know, but the suspense is killing me. But he didn't snap pick the swipe, so yeah. it's not swipe. Starfall, dude. Starfall's not good, he only has 
He doesn't have the mana. Mark of Shirage. Uh, not gonna... something you could pick up here. Like sure He could pick up Minion, get the Tentacle of Anthos, and then mulch it. Or Wild Pyro. Or Wild Pyro. I like your way, though. <laughs> I mean, my way was a... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mulching your own 1-1 one, one to blow up this up seems bad, but... Oh, misses swipe on both of them. But he's yeah. going to end up with a 5-4 Panther. I mean, good news are he can deal with the Sea Giant. Bad news are he can't deal with the rest. <laughs> yeah, he can, uh, he can actually Argus and... No, he doesn't have board space, actually. Argus is oh. just Savage. Yeah, there's no board space, so uh, how do you do this? I mean, this Giant is coming down. Yeah, yeah, and then you probably power roll one of your guys. You might even just tap here. Tap power. Yeah, I guess tapping's probably play better than playing the square. Because yeah. you have like the Squire Argus combo for later. So it's all always pretty nice. Mm. <laughs> playing the drums over there, Cam Linus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this match is super close, like on the edge. This would have been a turn where, if you were able to have more than seven minions on the board, Stan would have been able to do something really busted. Yeah, but we are still playing Hearthstone, so... Never lucky. That's actually what I'm kind of hoping for, is like new card mechanics in the next sets. Would make it kind of complicated where you have to make a bigger board. So, here's the thing, if you can actually stabilize as the Druid, and you get down two of these big trees... Yeah, the second 5-10 is like pretty hard. And a uh, Boogie Monster, okay. Pokey monster. Boogie po monster. I didn't say Pokey monster, did I? Nah. Maybe I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just continue really hitting that face. Like you just play everything here, right? Yeah, you don't tap because you have the boogie monster as a reload, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you already saw mulch, so that guy's just going to get trigger heavy. It's just an 8 mana bolded first over. Alright, so he does tap. Do you I, like don't, it? I don't like this. I'm just like, I don't need more cards. I have the Boogie Monster. Let's get it. Go ahead and go kill my opponent. Sure. <laughs> you just flame him here. I just put the most power on board. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Also, I don't like tapping and not spitting out my hand because, like, Camelon's really close to being dead here. Yeah. Really, really close. So, basically, Camelon is at 16 now. Which should 10 health. So there's five, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10 on board. 12 of the abuse of Sergio. So he's not quite there with, uh, against the Ancient War. Your Zeron is coming. <laughs> That's going to be and fun. Kavlin's not so <laughs> far away from having a dream. Dude, he just hits the inner bit here. And we have a whole new game. Actually, not that many spells have been played. A couple of Wraths, a Living Root, uh, a couple of Raven Idols. He's gangbuster, not too. I think like Stan is tapping too much, maybe. Yeah, I would have played the boogie monster there. So, but now definitely you... doesn't feel good shipping your whole board into this dude. Yeah, I mean you're not the whole board, but a lot of it. And there's another one coming up. It's almost the whole board. Yeah, the second one might get tricky for Stan here. Gamlin might actually make the comeback on the back for like a really good yoga. Yeah, it's like such a big difference if you have flame on the board now or a squire, right? Uh, yeah, the... Command Stan, go for it. Stan was playing around like the second swipe a bit too much, I think. Mm, might be, might be. He made his board a bit too weak against his 5 turn. But the bottom line is, like, he didn't have Direwolf out of he didn't have Power Woman. So, yeah, the 5 turn did work. It did, it did. Alright, so is there enough to push through this time? It's not exactly a draw you want to see, huh? So there's only 11 on board. And, uh, Camlin can go ahead and Hero Power abuse of down, so there's only nine on board. And if only nine on board, he Stan's gonna need a buff card. Yep, Stan just like blowing some air, a little bit of frustration. Seems like an ancient war. No, no, he's like York is coming. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this game before. This is gonna suck. I mean, there is a big chance like York kills Kamlan here. So Ooh, power, so seven, nine, ten, and exactly full. Yep, feels feels good or bad, man. Depends on what you're cheering for. I want to see some Yogg, so feels bad, though. 
And Stan's gonna go go ahead and yeah. take the set. On exactly full three to one. Sigh of relief, Stan did not want to see the Yug. Yeah. So that was a it was a good series, like the last game was really close, so yeah. I mean if I if I'm Camlin, I'd be like a little salty. I think you know a bit about the salt, about but, but if your opponent draws four innervates in their first six cards I, in, over I, two I games. I made that experience today, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. You can call it a good series. <laughs> I could say, like, one player drew more innervates than the other. <laughs> so I don't know about that one. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the series, guys, and had a little bit of fun. Yeah. We'll be back, we'll be back later for some more games. Yeah.